بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعاقبة المتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب Let's take a peek into the pious predecessors, into the lives of the Salaf of this Ummah, to see how they were with regards to partaking and indulging in this life, to see how simple they were in their requirements, and make a comparison to us, to ourselves. And how we require the best foods, the best sauces. We eat to our to we're filled, and even beyond that, we indulge in so much. But the salaf of this ummah, the salaf of Salih, رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين ورحمة الله عليهم. exhibited true asceticism and piety and didn't require the excess of this dunya. It was related that Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala said, He in whose hand is my soul. I have lived amongst people who never ordered food to be prepared for themselves if food was presented to one of them, he would eat. Otherwise, he would be silent. And he would not care if it was hot or cold. And in another narration, it was reported that he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and may Allah bless him with Jannah Firdaus, By Allah, I have lived amongst people who, when taking lunch, if they were about to be full, would stop eating. This is just a glimpse into the how the Salaf were when it came to indulgence and in partaking food. And it exhibits for us the Sabil al-Mu'mineen and how the Prophet والسلام, lived his life. He could have had much but he ordered us to have a third of our stomach for food and a third for drink and a third for air. And all of the health benefits and all of the benefits for the mind and the soul were only just beginning to learn. But if we stop, reflect, follow the sunnah, of the Prophet والسلام, in the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah, Minhaj al Salaf al Salih, then we have embraced the Urwa to Wuthqa and the Sabil al Mu'mineen, Kitabila wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those on the sabil, sabil al-mu'mineen, following the salaf of this ummah, to be salafi, be in the minhaj of the salaf, following them in their manners, following them in their creed, in their aqidah, in their minhaj and da'wah, following them to gain success from Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah bless us with that and forgive us of our sins and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.